today we are talking all about the Bitmain Monero scandal, so stay tuned. So as I mentioned, today we're talking all about the Bitmain Monero scandal. So Bitmain has decided to come out with a Monero ASIC miner, and the team behind Monero says that these things will not be profitable. So today I'm going to go ahead and break that down for you as to why that is. But before we get into the details about this story, I'm just going to give you a brief refresher course of how we got from uh, computer mining to now ASIC miners. So starting out back in the day, Bitcoin, the very first cryptocurrency, when it was created, obviously one of the key features was that anyone could mine this cryptocurrency. So anyone could get uh, some Bitcoins. Now, when Bitcoin first came out, you used to be able to mine it on your home computer. All you needed to do was use your CPU, your central processing unit in your computer, and you could mine Bitcoin. Now, as more and more people started to mine Bitcoin, obviously the difficulty went up and it became harder to mine Bitcoin. And people realized they could use GPUs or graphics processing units to mine Bitcoin. And by doing this, they could mine Bitcoin way faster and way more efficiently than people who were mining with their CPUs, their central processing units. So then it got to a point where CPUs were no longer profitable to mine Bitcoin and only GPUs were. Eventually, companies started to realize that if they designed chips with one purpose in mind, just to mine Bitcoin, they could mine way more efficiently than GPUs could. And that is how we got ASIC miners. Companies like Bitmain started producing these units. They're basically just uh, computers that are designed with one task in mind, and that is to mine Bitcoin in this case. That is the SHA-256 algorithm, and all they do is mine Bitcoin. You can't do anything else with them. You can't even play solitaire on them. They're designed with one task to mine the SHA-256 algorithm, and they do it way more efficiently than GPUs, which means that G GPUs are no longer profitable to mine Bitcoin. Now, eventually, a lot of these companies started producing ASIC miners to mine other coins. There are now ASIC miners to mine Litecoin, as well as Dash, and a few other coins as well. Now, Bitmain, Bitmain right here, is one of the biggest ASIC miner producers in the world. I believe they have about 75% of the ASIC miner uh, total, total pool. So, pretty much, if you want a top quality ASIC miner, you go to Bitmain. Now, Bitmain is a highly profitable company. Last year, they made over $4 billion selling primarily Bitcoin ASIC miners. They did sell some Litecoin ASIC miners and Dash miners, but the majority of the money came from their Bitcoin ASIC miners. They produced so many of these ASIC miners, and the difficulty went up astronomically on Bitcoin mining. Everyone wanted a piece of these. That's why Bitmain made over $4 billion. And quite honestly, Bitmain doesn't care that the difficulty is going up astronomically they just want to make a ton of money and that's why they keep producing so many of these. Eventually in the near future, if Bitmain continues to produce Bitcoin ASIC miners, it will get to a point where it will no longer be profitable uh, for anyone to mine Bitcoin unless you're having pretty much free electricity or you're stealing electricity. It, it's going to get to that point eventually and Bitmain doesn't seem to care. They just want to keep producing these miners and keep making $4 billion, you know, $5 billion, $6 billion worth of revenue every single year. Now, Bitmain does realize that they can't continue to produce the Bitcoin ASIC miners at the rate they have been doing. So what they've been doing is, is looking into other coins and producing ASIC miners to mine these other cryptocurrencies. Late last year, Bitmain announced they are producing a SIA ASIC miner. And this was a bit of a shock to the SIA community because the SIA community was already working on their own ASIC miner. And these Bitmain ASIC miners for SIA were coming out before that. And a lot of people were very upset because they had already pre they are already pre-ordered the SIA uh, official ASIC miner. And these Bitmain were coming out sooner and they could mine more efficiently. So a lot of people were upset with that. Okay, so with all that out of the way, now we get to the actual Bitmain Monero story. So Bitmain was secretly producing these Monero ASIC miners. They mine the Kryptonite algorithm. That is the algorithm that Monero is on. There's a few coins on it, but uh, Monero is the most profitable coin on the Kryptonite platform. 
Now, Bitmain produced these ASIC miners in secret late, late last year, and they actually started mining Monero with these ASIC miners that they had produced, and the difficulty on Monero went way up. The difficulty went up on a lot of coins, but it went up on Monero more than other coins. Now, it recently came out earlier this year that Bitmain had been using these ASIC miners to mine Monero way more efficiently than other people had been using to mine Monero on GPUs. Monero, which is a privacy coin, and the team behind Monero were not happy about this fact. So Monero, the Monero team decided to fork the Monero coin, and they're going to a new algorithm that is going to be ASIC resistant. So these ASIC miners that Bitmain producing will no longer be profitable. Not only will they not be profitable, but you will not be able to mine Monero at all with these new Antminer X3s, which are designed specifically to mine Kryptonite. Now there will be other coins still on the Kryptonite algorithm. However, most of the coins on the Kryptonite algorithm have also said they plan to switch to Monero's new forked uh, algorithm so that they won't be ASIC mineable as well. So if you come over here to Bitmain, you can see their Antminer X3 batch 1. This is the first edition of the uh, ASIC miner that mines Monero that mines the Kryptonite platform. You can see right here. And if you actually take this over to a mining calculator, so you can see the hash rate on this is 220 kh so we take this over here we go to this calculator we change this to kh we put 220 and you can see as of right now it is extremely profitable to mine Monero with this ASIC miner you'll be making $159 a day $1,119 a week and $4,798 per month a total year profit of 58 grand off of this miner. Now the first batch of this miner cost about $12,000. So as you can see with a profit of almost $5,000, you're going to be paying you're going to be paying off this miner in a little over 3 months. And I say a little over 3 months because the difficulty tends to go up uh, a little bit. So obviously it's not going to be uh, it, at, at the today's price would be a little less than three months, but with the difficulty going up, it would be a little over three months. So anyone who comes to this site, looks up this ant miner, sees that it's 12 grand, comes over here to a calculator and sees that they can make 58 grand on this a year, would think this is a really great investment. Now, a lot of people don't know that Monero is forking their coin and Bitmain is selling these uh, ant miners that they have been using themselves to mine Monero. They're just trying to get rid of these because these are going to be useless in only a few months once Monero forks. Now Monero has announced that they are forking their coin in April and as you can see this first batch actually will ship out in April 2018. So it's a very good possibility that as soon as you get this new uh, miner it will no longer be profitable. By the time you get it Monero will have already be forked and this thing will be virtually worthless. If you actually come to uh, the Monero forums on Reddit, you can say you know, a lot of people are already calling this, you know, a blatant scam and people are making jokes about it. Uh, like this post, in a stunning move, Bitmain announces it's launching a doorstopper business. So they're basically calling these ASIC miner doorstoppers because they're going to have no use once Monero forks. Now, as I said, Bitmain was using these to secretly mine Monero for a few months now, and they know these things are going to be virtually worthless, so they're trying to get as much money as they can. However, the story has recently broken that Monero is forking, and these won't be uh, at, at profitable, or at, you can't make any money of them if every coin forks off of the Kryptonite platform. And so, Monero has and so sorry, Bitmain has decided to lower the price on the second batches. So the first batch costs twelve grand, and then the second batch, which isn't going to launch till May is going to cost you only three grand and then the third batch which I believe launches in July is only going to cost you nineteen hundred dollars. They're doing this because they know it's going to be extremely unprofitable to use this coin and to use this miner and again if every coin forks from Kryptonite it will be worthless it will be a doorstopper as that reddit post says. Now what's even more incredible, Bitmain has decided to offer no refunds on this miner. So if you get this miner and you can't make any money on it, well that's your loss. They even put on their page, they put one specific thing where it says one major cryptocurrency which is using Kryptonite hash function is about to change their POW algorithm and according to their public statement it is purposely to brick ASIC mining rigs including X3. When you're buying it, you are better 
you are betting that they are wrong. Uh, so there's a little bit of broken English there because it's a Chinese company. But basically they're saying they, they know that Monero is forking and really you're not going to make any money on this. So we're putting this in our warranty that, you know, we, we know this and there's no refund. So if you get this, it doesn't make any money. Well, that's your loss. Now, the Monero fork is also going to be get, getting rid of botnets. Botnets are computers that are, are infected with algorithms. Uh, a lot of There's a lot of spam out there that's trying to infect computers in order to mine Monero without the people knowing that they're mining it. So that's another feature that the uh, fork on Monero is doing. But in my opinion, what Bitmain is doing, trying to sell these Antminer X3s for $12,000, which are going to be virtually worthless by the time you get them because Monero Monero is going to fork, in my opinion, is, is criminal, basically. The people who buy this ant miner, the X3, and don't realize that Monero is forking are going to be out a ton of money, especially if you buy the first, the first batch, which is $12,000. So, you, you know, you just need to get the word out about this. Please, everyone, let anyone you know who's thinking about buying these know that Monero is forking and these ant miner X3s are virtually worthless. Bitmain, in my opinion, is probably one of the worst companies out there in the cryptocurrency world. They're all about just making as much profit as possible. They don't care about cryptocurrency at all. That's why they've produced so many Bitcoin ASIC miners. They don't care that the difficulty has gone up astronomically because of all the ASIC miners they have produced. They just want to make the $4 billion like they made last year. So there you go. There's my story on the Bitmain Monero scandal. I would love to hear your opinion on what you think is going to happen. Do you agree with Bitmo Bitmain selling these uh, these X3s even though they're going to be virtually worthless once Monero forks? Or do you think, hey, you know, it's business and they got to make money, so all's fair and equal? I would love to know what your opinion is. Go ahead and leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this story. Just remember, everyone, you have to be very careful out there in the cryptocurrency world. There's a lot of people who are trying to take advantage of you. Stay safe, everyone.